And welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending April 5th, 2014. Quite a few things uh, over the past couple of weeks, because it's been a while since I did a video. Um, the uh, Shinichiro Watanabe and Yoko Kano are back for an anime series uh, called Zankyo no Terror. This will be a, uh, a series set in the near future, focusing on um, sort of a... a uh, uh, Focusing on terrorism, if you will, which is rather interesting. So, uh, uh, at least two alumni from Cowboy Bebop working together again. That's pretty cool. Um, Sony uh, uh, announced a um, and actually demoed a new virtual reality goggle thing that lets you step inside an anime. So um, they basically um, hooked up Idol Master, the Idol Master game, to this device. And you can kind of move around the uh, uh, the, the Idol Master studio area space, or the, the offices of the Idol Master girls, and uh, wander around and see the various characters. And there's Miki in the corner and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so that's kind of uh, kind of cool. You can you can kind of walk around an anime environment uh, with these goggles. It'll be interesting to see how that affects um, uh, uh, anime in future if they decide to make that sort of, um, you know, you can do some interesting synthesization stuff or synthesizing stuff where you have the anime series and then you have kind of a game where you're actually wandering around the environment of the anime series now that those, the CGI graphics have managed to mimic that uh, very effectively. So we'll see. Uh, let's see here. What else? Um, there is a, um, let's see here. Um, uh, a couple of, of weird items before we get into some of the, the other uh, big stuff. Uh, well, actually, let's get into some of the uh, big stuff before that. Uh, so some of the big stuff. Uh, new Gundam series coming up. Several new Gundam series, actually. The 35th, 35th anniversary of Gundam is uh, coming up shortly. Um, and uh, so uh, Bandai has announced several new projects. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, one of them, well, really two of them. One of them is just the end of Gundam Unicorn. Uh, episode 7 uh, will be in theaters May 17th. Uh, and then uh, the one of the new anime series is called Gundam Reconquista in G, or Gundam G no Reconquista, which is an anime series by Yoshiyuki Tomino, the creator of Gundam, or one of the creators. Uh, it's his first work in Gundam since uh, Z the Zeta Gundam film tr uh, trilogy. It'll debut this fall, set in the re-guild century, which is set chronologically after Universal Century. So uh, still in the same kind of timeline, but much further in a new era, um, following a pilot trainee, trainee named Beruri Zanamu, uh, who's in the Capitol Guard, and protecting a space elevator. Kind of an interesting technology for that. Uh, and uh, looks like a, a very solid cast, uh, uh, or solid crew for that. Then the other big uh, thing is uh, a new thing called uh, Kido Senshi Gundam The Origin 1 Aoi Hitomi no Kazval. Now, this is not Gundam The Origin as in the manga Gundam The Origin. This is a prequel to the original Mobile Suit Gundam series. So it's set in um, Universal Century 0068, focusing on uh, Kazval Rem Daikun and Artesia, uh, who you will recognize if you know original Gundam, and what happened to them in their pasts. So kind of an interesting thing there. It'll also be a Gundam exhibition with lots of production materials uh, in Osaka and Tokyo. Um, and uh, there'll be a new anniversary theme song um, by Yasutaka Nakata, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're also working on a, a new thing called the Real G Next Project, which they call the Next Step After the Life Size Gundam Statue. Interesting. That'll be a, a basically a new Gundam statue sometime by... Um, uh, 2019, so we have a, a ways to go on that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, moving on, also speaking of, of Mecha, there will be a new Macross series coming soon. Uh, at the end of a broadcast of Macross Frontier recently, there was an announcement at the end of that. All we know is a new Macross series is coming, so who knows. But that's you know, pretty cool. Okay, going back to some of the, the weird news. Um, Yasushi um, Akimoto is a major figure in the Japanese music industry, um, partly because he uh, created AKB48, the massively popular girl group, um, and also did the, its, its predecessor, Onyanko Club. 
Um, he's actually he might even be president uh, or, or friends with President uh, Shinzo Abe. Um, and uh, more interestingly, for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics com Committee, he's a member of the committee for the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. Wow. Um, so yeah, he's going to be involved in actually organizing the, <laughs> the Olympics in Tokyo. Oh, uh, moving on to some award news. The Tokyo Anime Award Festival uh, uh, have, uh, occurred recently. Uh, the Wind Rises won Animation of the Year for film. Uh, the TV Anime of the Year was Attack on Titan. Best Director was Tetsuro Araki for Attack on Titan. Um, Best Screenplay Original Work was ya uh, Yasuko Kobayashi for Attack on Titan and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, um, but also winning was Hayao Miyazaki for The Wind Rises and Reiko Yoshida for Girls in Panzer. Uh, Best Character Design was Sushio for uh, Gunbuster 2. Best Animator was Kitaro Kosaka for The Wind Rises. Best Art Direction was uh, Yoji Takeshige for The Wind Rises and Summer Wars. Uh, best Voice Actor or Actress was Hideaki Anno in The Wind Rises. And yes, Hideaki Anno was in The Wind Rises as a character. Um, best Music was Guilty Crown. And the Anime Fan Award went to Denboro Senki Wars. So good on you for all of that. Um, nothing really too surprising. Um, meanwhile, there's a new anime series coming out in spring called M3, Sono Kuroki Hagane. Um, fair enough. The director is Junichi Sato, who directed Sailor Moon. The writer is Mari Okada, who also wrote Anohana. Um, the mecha design designs are by Shoji Kawamori, who did the designs for Macross and a bunch of other stuff. Hello! So, yes, this is going to be a, a big thing. The opening theme song, by the way, is, is going to be sung by Mayan, who uh, was one of the singers for Macross Frontier. So, major, major staff there. The uh, story is a drama following eight boys and girls in near-future Tokyo. Uh, the tagline is, On the night of falling stars, they heard that song. Which sounds pretty Macross, actually. Um, uh, there are some character sketches and such. Uh, around on uh, on Anime News Network, and um, uh, we already have character names and actually voice actors involved there, so you can check that out as you will. But that sounds like a, certainly one to watch. Uh, meanwhile, Space Dandy uh, has been approved for a second season. Now, this is a little uh, different because um, uh, the intent was always that there would be a second season of this, or they always wanted a second season, but apparently they only got... Uh, sort of approval for for this first for that first season that aired, so basically just um, sort of more of an not so much an announcement but a uh, an affirmation that they will get a second season. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. Um, finally, another kind of a uh, couple of, of odd bits, some classic anime news, if you will. Um, there was an interview recently, but with uh, Akira Toriyama of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z where he confirmed that he got really, really sick of drawing Dragon Ball Z during the Majin Buu saga. Uh, that he, he just, he, he couldn't stand it anymore. Um, and uh, so he, 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 uh, he actually said, I, 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 lost, I, I lost the desire to draw fighting manga ever since the Majin Buu saga. That's how bad it was. Um, so that, they, that's what happens when you drag out uh, a manga for that long. And by the way, the, the, the magazine was highly pressuring Toyama to continue doing Dragon Ball Z. So it's not like he, you know, he really wanted to. It was like, no, you've got to keep this going. So that, that, that's why he kept on doing it. Um, meanwhile, um, a new magazine has been announced uh, commemorating the, uh, what would have been the 80th birth birthday of Fujiko F. Fujio, the creator of Doraemon, the extremely famous children's character and series. Uh, the anime series has been going on for decades in Japan. And uh, this new magazine called F Life, which it, Fujiko F Fujio, so that's what the F stands for, uh, will be covering, covering uh, 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 FFF's life and uh, works, including Doraemon, from various angles. So pretty darn cool there. They're commemorating a uh, remarkable person. Also, uh, Osamu Tezuka's daughter managed to unlock one of the desk drawers of Osamu Tezuka. Osamu Tezuka, creator of Astro Boy, and many other very important works, um, where they, uh, or she pulled out 
several original sketches that Tezuka had done that were not previously known, including risque sketches of a female mouse, Rule 34, uh, as well as um, a, a handwritten essay about Katsuhiro Otomo, the creator of Akira. Who else wants to read that essay? I'm fascinated. Um, so she then proceeded to uh, post on Twitter um, uh, photos of several of the images. So that, that's pretty pretty cool. Um, let's see here. A um, couple other uh, little bits. Uh, going back to Dragon Ball, actually. A Dragon Ball bonus story will run in Shonen Jump uh, this, uh, I believe this Monday. Uh, Dragon Ball Minus, um, The Child Released from Fate, which focuses on Gine, Goku's mother. Um, and uh, uh, um, she fights in a four Saiyan team. Uh, there's a whole story there. So there's a bit more Dragon Ball stuff coming out. That's pretty cool. Um, finally, you may have heard of the uh, Attack on Titan live action film that's planned for, I believe, next year. Uh, yes. Um, new announcement has been that uh, characters will be designed by a little person known as uh, Yoshiyuki Satomoto, who designed characters for the show you may have heard of called Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'm not quite sure how you can design characters for a live action film. Um, maybe he's designing the Titans. I don't know. But that's, that's quite the catch for that particular project. So that's the news for this week. Thank you for watching. I will be uh, off duty for a while preparing for season three of Otaku no Video. Not quite sure when I'll be back here, but thank you all for watching. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all at some point in the near future. Take care.